let's take a look at the new Workflowy feature in beta. Workflowy has been working on an experimental feature called Tasks or To Do, and just launched a new beta feature called Paragraphs and Headers, which we covered in the last video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to combine these into a powerful to-do management built right into Workflowy. All right, so let's jump in. The first thing we want to do is go into Settings and scroll down and look for experimental features. Make sure that Workflowy Labs is turned on and that dates is turned on. And then go ahead and refresh, then go back to settings. And now you should have a whole bunch of other items with labs next to them. And then make sure to turn on slash commands and paragraph and headers and mention and update notifications. There's a couple of different ways that we can be able to organize uh, to-do lists in Workflow. So the first thing uh, you can do is do it the old way. So I'm going to go over that first. So this would be like to-do. And then you could say get milk. Um, you could say buy bread. And you could say check the mail. Now in the app, you could swipe and mark this as done. Uh, to mark it in comp as completed on your computer, you can press Command or Control Enter, and that would put a strike through to it. And then, and then in here, you can say Show Completed, or you can turn it off so it can hide them as well. Um, so that's the basic to-do list function in Workflow. Now there's the new beta way of doing this. So that way is saying, okay, so this is a to-do list, right? And then for this, um, you could say buy milk, get eggs, go to the post office. And then if we click here in this menu where it says bullets, there's now to do. And that'll convert the bullet into a checkbox. And that's a good visual indicator to show that like, hey, here's an item that I could add to the list. And as I continue to press enter, it will allow me to add additional items to the list. And then to go back, I just have to press shift tab. That will still be visually indicated as a to-do list, but then I can click this uh, menu, click on to-do and convert that back to bullets here. All right, so then there is also a third way that I like to do so if I have a to-do list in Workflowy, this is kind of how I would do it. And then I click into that. And then let's go ahead and set up some categories, right? So we can say general. Uh, we can say work. And maybe we can say hobby. Uh, maybe chores, right? Okay, and then under general, I want to go ahead and make this a list. So we'll say bullets to do, uh, go to the post office. Now you can go back on these and choose bullets and then to do and set them this way. And then remember in the previous step, we did slash commands too. So I can do forward slash and then type in to do, and that will convert that to a to-do list. Forward slash, press T for to-do, press enter. And then mention in our previous video about the paragraphs and headers. You can go ahead and highlight this and choose H1. Uh, so H1 is actually the same size as my text here, so I'll change that to H2. But whatever formatting you like to do, that's nice. And so this gives me a way to be able to see at a glance like what my categories are for my to-do list. And then I can go ahead and collapse them like this if I want to. If I want to stay focused, like say I want to stay focused on just on work, I can collapse the rest of these. Let's go ahead and take it a step further so I can use the dates that we've enabled in those settings. So I can press on my keyboard shift enter that goes into the notes area. And then I can type in today. 
and I can press tab. And then I can say two weeks and press tab. And maybe do another one for today and press tab. So I like to assign the dates for the task in the notes area just because it puts it in gray and it's kind of like out of the way. Now what's really powerful about this is that the search in workflow allows me to be able to click here on the search bar. And if you'll see here, there's one that looks like a clock and a calendar. So the clock says like in a day, in a week, but the calendar says in a date, day before, today. So I'm going to choose today. And so that'll search for all the items that are mentioned today within the to-do. So I, if I clicked on home and did the same thing, it would do it in my entire workflow. But since I'm focused on the to-do page, I go to search and I click today and it shows me all the items that are due today. I can also say all the items that are due this month. Now let's say that I really like, you know, this view. So let's say that I want to reference this a lot to be able to look at what to do this month. I clicked here on the hamburger menu to pull out the menu to show it at all times. If I click on the star here where it says this month, now that I've done a search, that'll star that search. So this month and to do. And so let's go ahead and do one for today. Star it. Let's do another one for tomorrow and star it and then clear that search and let's star this page too. And so what that allows me to do on the left hand side is I can say, okay, here's my main to-do list. I can click there and then I can click on tomorrow, see what's uh, assigned for tomorrow, or I can click on today, see what's assigned for today, click on this month and see what's assigned for this month. So it's really a handy way to keep up with your items. And then another thing I like to do, and this is just what I do for some of my lists, I'll go ahead and add an item at the top here called archive. And we'll set that as a bullet. Um, or you can even set it as a to do if you want. Um, but then whenever I mark one as complete, I'll drag it into the archive and then have that collapsed. And that way, if I need to go back and reference something, it's always there. The other thing you can do with the mentions that we talked about before is if you share this page with somebody else, you can press at, and then you can mention someone. In this case, my account's called hello, and that will notify that person of the to-do item too, which is really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the home page, right? And so let's say that I have a whole workflow section for my work, and I have to-do. So let's say I go into work, and I have meetings, general notes here, and to do, but this to do uh, will become separate. And then I don't like that because then it gets out of focus of what my general to do was here. So what we can do is we can click here and we can choose mirror, which is awesome. This allows us to have a live copy in workflow. So no matter what I change to this to do list, it will be changed everywhere else that it is mirrored. And then in here, let's go ahead and click on um, delete this to do list since there was nothing there. And we'll press Command or Control V. That'll paste in that work list. Um, and so let's go ahead and we can even change the formatting here, which is fine, uh, to be back to like a regular bullet. And then I can say like a checkbox if I want to, just to give it that formatting that I like. So that's my to-do list here for work. And then if I go back to the main to-do list, you can see to-do work here is there. Um, so the formatting is a little off there. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll nest it inside of another one. So I have my to-dos for work. And then I can always expand that and show. And then if I go back here to to-do, I have work here again. And so it's only mirroring that that one that said work. I'd be interested to hear in the comments about how you've set up uh, your workflow, any tips that you have for me, and hopefully this inspires you too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.